This video is a presentation of the Earthquake Early Warning System for British Columbia. My name is Kent Johansson. In 2013, I started cooperating with the University of British Columbia under the lead of Dr. Carlos Ventura to develop and install an Earthquake Early Warning System for Vancouver and British Columbia. The first sensors were put into the ground in March of 2014 and the system was completely deployed in September 2014. The present system covers from Victoria in the south to Chilliwack in the east and to Campbell River and Powell River in the north. We have stations in Gibsons and distributed all over the lower mainland. Switching now the main display to live we can watch the noise level of each seismometer pair deployed in the lower mainland. The seismometers are deployed in pairs in order to avoid false alarms from the urban environment where people run by and where trucks and machines may make noise. We have not had one false alarm during the time that the system has been deployed and fully operational which is about half a year at the time of speaking. The entire system is invented, developed and built within Canada and the electronics have the unique feature that there is absolutely no delay between the measurement and the transmission onto the internet. This means that on the display we are looking at there is less than 10 milliseconds of delay from the actual motion until we can see it here on the map. Next let's see how the system responded to an actual earthquake magnitude 4.7 in Tofino about a screen width to the left of this screen. We are now replaying data from the timestamp in the top left corner of the screen and right now an earthquake of magnitude 4.8 happened in Tofino about 200 kilometers left of this screen. The faster compression wave called the P wave now travels towards Powell River at a speed of about 3 kilometers per second. It will hit at a magnitude of about 300 micro g just now. About 10 seconds later, the destructive S wave, the secondary wave, will hit Powell River at 1.1 milliG. The pattern then repeats in Gibsons with a P wave followed by an S wave of a smaller magnitude, and then the earthquake moves down to the downtown area where we mainly see the P wave in the North Shore area where all the seismometers are sitting on bedrock and therefore are more sensitive to the P wave then it moves on to the valley and a full 30 seconds later at about 55 seconds we see the main shaking downtown we would thus have had about 30 seconds of warning from the P wave hits the Powell River sensor until the main shaking hits downtown. The main shaking has now reached Port Coquitlam and Langley and finally at the end Delta starts sloshing a bit back and forth. It is very soft ground and it will respond later to the earthquake going through. Here we see Chilliwack have a little bit of a peak and then Langley comes to rest and the event is over. I should explain at this point that the magnitude 4.8 earthquake happened 240 kilometers away from downtown Vancouver in Tofino where it was able to get a chandelier to swing a little bit back and forth. In the area that this map covers, it was hardly felt. Therefore, there was no need at all to trigger an alarm. The maximum magnitude reached in Powell River was 1.1 milliG. Our threshold for alarms are presently 2 milliG and the industry standard is 5 milliG. Even though an actual damaging earthquake would be between 1,000 and 10,000 times stronger downtown, I hope the visualization of this little tremor has demonstrated not only the capabilities of our system, but also helped visualize what goes on when an earthquake goes through the lower mainland. Over the next couple of years, we hope to expand the network to keep everyone safe from local intercrustal earthquakes as well as to make the alarms more generally accessible to the public. Thank you.